that the teacher could use. It defines what the learners will learn in the process. The basic education curriculum and the K-12 curriculum are the educational system we had in our country. The BEC or the BEC was the old system program on the other hand is the new educational system we have right now. This program aims to enhance the basic skills of the learners, produce more competent citizens, and prepare graduates for a lifelong learning. In this video, we will leave an our understanding about the old educational system and the new educational system in the Philippines. What is back? or basic education curriculum. Basic education curriculum is old curriculum educational system in the Philippines. It contains mother tongue based multilingual education, universal kindergarten, college and livelihood readiness, and specialized upper secondary education. So, basic education curriculum according to the Secretary of Education Raul Rocco, starting in 1986, the 2002 basic education curriculum was based on a 16-year study. On June 17, 2002, Deped Order No. 25 Series of 2002, announcing the adaptation of the 2002 basic education curriculum was released. Deped Order No. 43 Series of 2002, issued August 29, 2002, contains the actual implementation guidelines. The revised curriculum, the revised plan, was passed into law on June 12, 2002. The Philippine Commission on Educational Reform, which was established on December 17, 1998, recommended the implementation of YPEG, which was based on the executive number or executive all Europa stated that the curriculum instructions are part of a larger attempt to improve the reform. We are concentrating on the fundamental of literacy and numeracy while instilling values across the curriculum to make it more vibrant. The 2002 basic education curriculum is a limited adjustment to the elementary and secondary curricula rather than a complete survey. Basic education curriculum has its features, and these are the following. Greater emphasis on helping learner to become a successful reader. Emphasis on interactive or collaborative learning approaches. Emphasis on the use of interactive learning approaches. Teaching of values in all learning areas. Development of self-reliant and The curriculum also features spiral progression, contextualization, and enhancement, which help makes the curriculum more relevant to the student. What is K-12 program? The K-12 is an education system under the Department of Education, which aims to enhance the student's basic skills, produce more competent citizen, and prepare graduates for a lifelong learning and employment. The K stands for kindergarten and 12 refers to the 12 years of elementary and secondary education, which is 6 years of elementary education, 4 years of junior high school, and 2 years of senior high school. The sale and feature of K-12 program includes strengthening the early childhood education, making the curriculum relevant to the learners, ensuring integrated and seamless learning, building proficiency through language, gearing up for the future, and nurturing the holistically developed Philippines. Now that you have learned about the two curriculums and their features, let us briefly compare the two systems. The basic education curriculum or the BEC and the new curriculum which is the Enhanced Basic Education Curriculum or the K-12 program. For the basic education curriculum, science contents are integrated in English, 
where as for the K-12 program, science contents are integrated in almost all other subjects. And basic education curriculum, topics from the different branches of science are revisited in each grade. For example, in second year, students will learn about biology. In third year, they will learn about chemistry. And in fourth year, they will learn about physics. But for the K-12 program, the approach is spiral progression, meaning all branches of science are introduced in each year level. One branch per grading period, only that the level of difficulty increases as the year level also progresses. In the old system or the bed, real-life applications of concepts are limited, whereas in the new system or the K-12, real-life applications of concepts are maximized. ICT integration in the basic education curriculum is also minimal, while in the K-12 program, there are a variety of ICT tools that are used in the teaching learning process. Assessment in the basic education curriculum is mainly paper-pencil test, while in the K-12 program, there are varied assessment formats. Both the written works and performance tests of the students are assessed.